Do you have C. diff and want to know how to get rid of it naturally without the use of antibiotics, expensive pharmaceuticals, fecal pills, or a fecal transplant? Welcome to my channel. I'm Crystal and on March 17th, I got C. diff after taking the antibiotic clindamycin after my breast explant surgery. And if you want to see that video, I'll link it right here. Over a month ago, I cured my antibiotic induced C. diff infection in just three days naturally. I used three products that cost me about $150 and I've been symptom free since Easter. Before I share these products with you today, it's very important that I share some background and address the root cause of this infection so that you can prevent it from happening or reoccurring. So while it can be killed, it can also easily come back. It's an extremely smart and stubborn bacterium that feeds on what you feed on. You need to know how to starve it and what foods and supplements will help prevent it from coming back. I'm gonna share all of this with you today. While I have to say that I'm not a doctor and this is not to be used as medical advice, I will say that this treatment was very, very effective for me. During my C. diff infection, I read through countless forums and Facebook groups of people who were suffering from C. diff. They were trying over and over to cure their C. diff with Western medicine like antibiotics. My heart goes out to the people who don't know about these natural treatments and that's exactly why I'm sharing this video with you today, to get this information out and to help people who are suffering. Now, anyone who finds this video will hopefully have a chance to heal their C. diff once and for all. So what is C. diff? If you're watching this video, you likely already know what C. diff is, but in case you don't, it's a bacterium that causes an infection of the colon. Symptoms range from diarrhea to life-threatening damage to the colon. Illnesses from C. diff often occurs after using antibiotic medicines. It mostly affects older adults in hospitals or long-term care settings, but anyone can get C. diff. Some strains of the bacterium that can cause serious infections are more likely to affect younger people. Symptoms often begin within five to 10 days after starting an antibiotic, but symptoms can occur as soon as the first day or up to three months later. A mild infection of C. diff mainly causes watery diarrhea, often with some abdominal cramping or tenderness. A more severe infection can cause blood and mucus in the stool, persistent abdominal pain, swollen distended abdomen, nausea and vomiting, loss of appetite, fever, and a rapid heart rate. My test results showed positive for C. diff, but negative for toxins A and B. This was so confusing to me and my naturopath, and upon further research, I found this article from the National Library of Medicine to be helpful in explaining this. I was having diarrhea eight to 15 times a day, and eventually I started getting blood and mucus in my stool. I felt nauseous at times, and I had a lot of pain in my lower right abdomen, and my test results showed no treatment necessary. I'm so glad that I didn't take my test results lightly, and I tried multiple lines of natural treatment. So there were so many things that I tried that I could have sworn would work to get rid of it, and they didn't. And I'll share those as well, but I mainly wanna share the main things that worked to help cure my C. diff and also the things that I did to help repopulate my good bacteria in my gut to prevent it from coming back. Before I get into that, let's talk about what Western medicine treatments are for C. diff. So most people go to Western medicine to try to get rid of C. diff. And the first line of treatment for Western medicine getting rid of C. diff is harsh antibiotics. As we learned, C. diff is an antibiotic induced infection. The antibiotics wipe out all of the good bacteria in your gut and that's exactly what C. diff needs to thrive. And then there's minimal good bacteria left to fight it off. From all the research I did, the personal stories I saw and the statistics I saw, I just knew that the Western medicine route was not very promising and it definitely wasn't something for me. The first line of treatment suggested is more broad spectrum antibiotics like vancomycin and Dipsid. These medications need insurance approval first and even with that, they cost about $700 to $800 and it's not guaranteed that your C. diff will be cured. Many people go through three rounds of antibiotics to try to kill C. diff. Each time they take more antibiotics, they wipe out more beneficial gut bacteria leaving them more prone to another infection. After three rounds of antibiotics, if that still doesn't work, then the next treatment is a fecal transplant pills or a fecal transplant procedure. Not only is that dangerous and disgusting in my opinion, but some people's symptoms still don't resolve and it still comes back. Which brings me to my next point, getting to the root cause of why this is happening. Addressing the root cause is so important and from what we know, C. diff is caused by antibiotic use, and some people are carriers of C. diff, but it lives dormantly in their gut until their microbiome is compromised, and that typically happens from use of antibiotics. It can also be caused by coming in contact with C. diff spores from a surface or another infected person. But more importantly, poor gut health leads 
someone to getting infected or reinfected. So things like processed foods, alcohol consumption, cigarette smoking, um, overuse of antibiotics, uh, prescription medications, over-the-counter medications, even stress and not having a wide enough variety of foods in your diet, those are all things that can affect your gut microbiome and make you more prone to developing this infection or from reoccurring infections. Research shows that the more diverse our diet is and healthy foods, that the healthier our microbiome will be. The healthier our gut is, the easier it is to fight off bacteria and infections like C. diff. So while I'm going to share these supplements with you today, I think it's first important that I address these three things. One, how healthy or unhealthy our gut is. Two, how long you've been living with or suffering from C. diff. And three, if you're finding this video helpful, please boop the like button so that this information can get out to more people who are suffering with C. diff. So even if your gut isn't very healthy, I still think it's very beneficial for you to try these treatments that I use to cure my C. diff because nobody wants to be living with this infection. If you have C. diff, it's safe to say that you probably don't have the best gut health right now. But don't lose hope because you can start taking action today to cure your C. diff and to improve your gut health so that you're less likely to get C. diff again. And more importantly, so that you can live a better quality of life. And I thought I had a pretty healthy gut based on my healthy lifestyle and the foods I ate, but I also had toxic breast implants for over six years that were causing me a bunch of gut issues and health issues. And you can hear more about that in my breast implant illness video right here. But there are so many things that can wreak havoc on your gut without even knowing it. Even though I lived a healthy lifestyle and I ate healthy, um, since overcoming C. diff, the blessing in this all is that I have become way more intentional and aware of my gut health, as I think everyone should be. And if you agree with that, then subscribe and hit the notification bell because I'm gonna be sharing more videos on what I'm doing to improve and maintain optimal gut health, which leads me to things to avoid when you have C. diff. C. diff is a very bad bacteria that will thrive if you provide it the right environment. By doing some quick research, you'll see that this is a very tricky and stubborn infection with no clear solutions. I was three days into my infection and as I thought things were getting better, I ended up having this smallest sliver of cheesecake which contained processed sugars and everything went downhill from there. I quickly learned that if I wanted to get rid of this, I had to be extremely cautious of the foods that I was feeding my gut bacteria and how I could starve off the C. diff bacteria. C. diff is known to hide in biofilms and also be antibiotic resistant. I gave up all spicy foods, processed sugars, and processed foods, which C. diff loves all of those. The only sugars I would eat were small amounts of fruit or about a tablespoon of honey a day in my oatmeal. I also gave up coffee, which was honestly one of the hardest things for me. I stopped eating hard to digest foods like red meat. I stopped researching and stressing over having C. diff because stress is just as bad for your gut health as chemically processed foods are. And I'll be sharing a list of foods that I avoided and foods that I did eat while I had C. diff. Now that we've covered the basics on getting to the root cause and also supporting the gut, we can now move on to natural treatments to cure C. diff. When I first got C. diff, I was extremely discouraged because I am one for holistic healing, holistic medications, and from all the research I did, it seemed like there was no way to cure this naturally. I started getting so stressed thinking that a fecal transplant was in my future. I saw horror story after horror story of Western medicine failing so many people. My hope was fading until my dad recommended this product to me that he swears by. He's personally used this to treat salmonella poisoning, shingles, cold and flu, and a black widow bite. If you know me or much about my family, many of us are very natural minded and holistic and we are believers in Christ. He was desperately trying to get me to take this product and he said, aside from Jesus, this is the only thing on this earth that he truly, truly believes in. So when he said that, and I still wasn't having success with all of the other natural treatments that I had tried, I decided to try it. He said he believed it would cure it in 48 to 72 hours, and that's exactly what happened. But while this was in the process of being shipped to me, I came across a Facebook group that was all about curing C. diff naturally. So I really started to have some hope after I found this group that it could be cured naturally. And I'll link that group in the description as well. In this group, the lady who cured her C. diff naturally shared about 13 different products that she used to cure it and to keep it from coming back. And I was in the middle of making a list of all these products and how much it would cost me. And I discovered that even though this treatment 
this natural treatment would be far less expensive than something like vancomycin and Difsid. The treatment that my dad suggested along with two other products that I took were not only more affordable, but also easier to take than 13 different products. While I would have paid anything to get rid of it naturally, I'm so grateful that I waited and I tried my dad's recommendation and the dosing that he told me to take it at. It cured it in two and a half days, and during this time, I did experience a Herx reaction. Another thing that I should note is that I was very stressed before my C. diff infection occurred. Like the day before it all started, I was extremely stressed out. I had just had surgery. I was taking care of my toddler all on my own. I had a lot going on in my life at that time. So I think that this definitely triggered the infection. And then I became even more stressed when the infection set in and when it got worse. A couple days before my supplements arrive, I broke down and surrendered my stresses to God. And also before bedtime each night, I would lay down cozied up on the floor with dim lighting and I listened to a healing, a guided healing meditation. I did this while breathing deeply and just kind of giving all of my worries to God and just trying to relax. And I'll link the meditation in the description as well. Okay, so the supplements that I used to cure my C. diff in less than three days and it still hasn't come back are colloidal silver and not just any brand, Saccharomyces boulardii plus MOS at a certain dosage and a certain time, and a pre, pro, and postbiotic supplement at a certain time. I'll be giving more specifics on the dosage needed, the times to take them, the best brands to take, and also the foods I ate and I avoided during this whole infection and also after to heal even further. I have all of this information to share with you through some PDF files. So to get the PDF, you can just follow me on Instagram at fitcrunchymama and send me a message with the words C. diff cure guides. I'll very happily send those guides over to you through a direct message 100% free. All I ask in return is that you share this information with anyone that you can so that we can help prevent other people from suffering and not knowing these natural treatments and to also prevent them from suffering from ineffective and costly treatments. I'm looking forward to your message and also for you to be on your way to healing. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can follow along on my gut healing journey.